Hello, everybody. It is Wednesday, and you know what that means. It's time for Book of Dawn, Ioth Academy. I am tormented by gnomes. It is my joy to be your dungeon master today and always. And joining me, my fantastic crew consisting of Crowen, Leg Day, Lemon Kiwi, and Necra. Welcome back, Crowen. How's life? Uh, life is good. It got even better when new Renan art just dropped. Let's you know, go! Like, check that out. Go to the Cast of Castle Discord. It's posted in there. Uh, or over on Twitter, you know, but uh, today's a good day. Hopefully it remains to be an Ith Academy as well. You're going to feel <laughs> real silly when you've commissioned new art and then I kill your character in the first episode. Yeah, um, <laughs> but you wouldn't do that, would you? Of course not. Uh, leg day, how how are things? How are things? Any any Anything cool happened recently? Yeah, we owl, baby. We, we have become Yay! avians. <laughs> <laughs> Monday was the release of the news that uh, Lemon, Necker, and I have got the big old promotion on deck, and uh, life is good for us. Let's go. Let's go. Super proud of all of you. Super, super excited. Um, obviously, lots of uh, forethought and big brain on my part to recruit the three of you. Crow yeah, is just, early, you know? Crow is just a blue chip. Yeah. He's always owl? good. Crowen, <laughs> Crowen, gonna get strong armed into doing Overwatch now. What? Oh, you know. Oh, maybe. No, I don't he, recall offering Crowen a choice in the matter. Ah, yeah. He, he's on the uh, <laughs> spoken word TikTok climb. He's you know True. making his way up that way. Check out his TikTok. Uh, Lemon Kiwi, what about you? Uh, obviously, similar news. Congratulations. Yeah, I got all the equipment today too so it's been a lot of renovating the l office the yassification if you will of the office which um involved me breaking my closet door and trying to not burn down my house so yeah please Fun. don't burn down your house it'd make it difficult to play dnd um <laughs> necra what's going on how you doing a mixture of all of the above yeah also got my equipment trying to figure out how to put it in here is it's gonna be a fun game i get to play over the next <laughs> few days you're just gonna um, have two buttons one says pokemon and one says deactivate pokemon <laughs> exactly yeah i i really wish that were the case like can i have like an that's like really, a revolving wall yes. like in a castle <laughs> i need that i need a revolving wall i'm sure that's in the budget <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> I'd pull, pull out a book and all of the evolution just disappears. Yep. That'd be yeah. top marks. You have to like play. You've got a little keyboard nearby. You have to play the first few notes of either the Pokemon theme or the Overwatch theme in order to unlock the secret door. Um, Do you have any idea how much a contractor much for that me. kind of work costs in Philly? <laughs> we didn't have any castle. Dude, I wasn't I even going to that point. I was just going to say, do you rent or own? Because that's the first question before we start installing things and knocking walls out. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, you know what? I'd have to talk to my apartment about that one. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, before we return to the greatest institute of magical learning in all the four kingdoms, the school that is still called Ioth Academy. And if you watched, if you watched last week's episode, you'll know why that is a point of contention at the moment. Uh, I do have an announcement. We are doing a giveaway, not once, but twice today. When we set up the characters for this campaign, we created them using Grazalax's Guide to Ancestry, which is a really cool supplement that I just picked up on my own. Uh, that lets you customize the role that culture and ancestry have in your character instead of taking the, sort of the off-the-shelf uh, races from standard D&D, kind of a little bit more bio-essentialist, a little bit more old-fashioned. That's why some of our characters can roll an extra D4 once per rest. They can do that adaptive thing. That's why we were able to create uh, Ariana, who is a human who was raised by elves, a little bit of mix of both of those two things. Uh, very cool supplement. I'm a big fan. And Realm Warp, which is the publisher, has given us a couple of copies, hashtag ad, to give away to you, our folks. Uh, they are approved if you're one of our supporters and you're participating or want to participate in the IOTH Academy community role play and create your own student at the Academy. This book is approved for use in those characters. So how do you win? All you have to do is be in chat when we go to break and when we end the episode. Uh, we're going to give our first one after the break and our last one just before we end. So stick around for that. Like I said, you just have to be in chat. Hit exclamation point giveaway for the details and we'll be taking care of that. Any other business before we actually get into the thing yes. with the stuff? Yes. What's up? 
if if you like buying D and D supplements, Castles and Castles now has an affiliate link to Apothecary Press, which you can scroll down, never look at right now, and peruse some products, and then give kickbacks to my channel to help support us, and of course, names. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, excellent read. This is why he's in the big leagues, folks. <laughs> they, they bought me for my reads. <laughs> okay. When last we left our heroes, we were still in the midst of what we are calling Trauma Week, which in the course of this gameplay is more like Trauma Two Months, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> it all began in the fifth year of their education at Ioth Academy, when Boreas, the son of Vindur, sovereign of the skies, attacked the academy to avenge his father's honor. There was a teacher there, Ika Elnau, a sky elf, who defied the will of Vindur and his knights of Terra Nimbus years ago. And when Vindur's knights came to the academy demanding that they release Master Elnau into their custody for supposed war crimes, the academy refused. And so the great flying fortress of Terra Nimbus soared overhead, shattered the golden sphere that protects the academy with a massive bolt of lightning. Boreas, the North Wind, his champions, and the flying knights of Terra Nimbus descended upon the academy and on the settlement that spreads out for a mile in all directions of the desperate living in its golden shadow. Our heroes not only helped to protect the innocents and their fellow students, but with the help of Master Elnau, they killed Boreas, son of the Sky Sovereign. In the wake of this dramatic attack, this brooch of security, the faculty of Ioth Academy declared a week of recovery and therapy. All classes and after class activities were canceled, students were given extra meals, counseling, whatever resources they needed to deal with the crisis. But unfortunately for all involved, the crisis was far from over. For from distant lands, from the underground grottos of the Dokelfar, the sage, a master diviner and oniromancer, the greatest wielder of dream magic within the Four Kingdoms, arrived at the school to uncover the series of mysterious events that have been going on ever since these four started attending school there. Whoops. <laughs> Fearful of being discovered, our heroes made a desperate play. They broke into the head office of Ioth himself, the founder of the school. They discovered there his greatest secret, the Book of Dawn, a magical artifact into which Ioth has been weaving the power of the school into its pages, power that has the ability to grant wishes, power that he is using to recreate the shining city of Luminius, lost in the age of the dawn, a place of dear, fond remembrance for him. In the wake of being discovered in the realm of dream by the Dokelfar sage, Athelor, in desperation, asked his mysterious uncle to protect him, to help, to intervene. And so his uncle called upon a power strong enough to face the, the sage's own might. A horror from beyond the hungry dark called the One Flesh. And as it invaded the dreamscape, all the students of the academy were plunged into horrifying nightmares. And that very same night, one event led to another. Alexander lost his powers, scourged by the might of Zalar, wielded unknowingly by Garnet. Reborn without his magic, he confronted Ioth and told him he'd laid a trap on the book, that the book would either decay and the city of Luminius would be lost, or he could seal himself within the book. Ioth ended up making his choice when a wish used by Ariana to reveal the identities of all the powers at play and save all of the students from the horrors of the dream had unintended consequences, and the book began to drain more power from the school, weakening its magical protections and threatening to make all of its floating structures plummet a mile to the ground, killing hundreds, if not thousands. Ioth made his choice, and he entered the book's world, becoming trapped within it in order to stop the drain from occurring. Before he left, he told Master Elnau that she was now charged with protecting the school and its inhabitants. The sage watched one of her last companions from the era of the dawn make his choice and promised these four students that this was not over. She was going to get to the bottom of their secrets. She departed. Master Elnau took up Ioth's staff, 
and our heroes went to bed, but not before Alexander went missing. For he entered the book, and then someone else emerged, a mysterious alpha named Renan, who has no memories whatsoever. Our other three young students are not sure whether or not they can trust him, but they've already helped him start to blending in with the rest of the school. When we last left our heroes, they had gone to bed, weary after what was supposed to be a time of rest, except for Renan, who wandered out to the school records, the archives of Tarsal Moor Hall, and as he set his foot within that area, his eyes flashed green and snake-like with the power of the infernal Zethius. There was also some mirror stuff that happened, but I can't like literally do the whole 90-minute episode. That'd be a waste of time. <laughs> Suffice to say, a lot of shit's going down. Yeah, uh, it's a very simple plot, easy to understand. We're only 37 <laughs> episodes in, so if you start watching here, you're fine. So, <laughs> have our heroes received the benefits of a long rest? And before they do that, uh, Crowen, was there anything else we needed to resolve with that scene that you mentioned? Or do we cut to the next morning? What are your thoughts? Uh, yeah, there's a couple things that might have some consequence. I don't know. Just real quick. I think mm -hmm. upon entering that room, Rand would do a couple of things. First, would, for his own sanity, look for records that exist of this Alexander person. Okay. Roll an investigation check, please. Sure. Investigation. <laughs> We're supposed to have files that are ridiculously large. <laughs> Look for big cabinet. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the disciplinary records and the really sensitive records are not kept in Tarsal Moor Hall. They're kept somewhere in the center of the spire at the very heart of the academy. But you are able to find records of his uh, some of his academic transcripts, the fact that he was originally assigned to the Grove as a young child before being transferred over to the uh, to the Great Hall, and then eventually, once he went to the Ring, he went to Tarselmore Chapter House. He was registered as one of the founding members of the Codex, which is a student organization. You have some of his class transcripts. There is an a noted oddity about his admission, possible record error, where there wasn't a record of admission originally found, but there didn't also seem to be an error other than that. So it's a little bit, a little bit weird, a little bit odd. Yeah, I think Renan's like, oh, that's very strange. I, this person doesn't exist, but here they are. I, I don't, I don't know. Um, and then I think after that, Renan would. I mean, in looking for Alex, I'd probably like look through other other names, like see other names, and maybe get some like feelings of like that seems mm, strangely familiar, but mm -hmm. not really at the same time. Uh, and then the final thing would be to look for somewhere to kind of, uh, I think, forge to put his own name amongst the records because he's like supposed to be here now and fitting in. So it would make sense that he'd be among the records. Is he proficient with forgery kit? No. <laughs> <laughs> Just like scribbled on a crayon, ready is here. Uh, totally belong here for sure. <laughs> All right. Well, you can make a flat, unproficient intelligence check in order to do okay. that. Oh, oh, this it, is going to go terribly wrong. Is yeah. it though? Is it because... You are not proficient in using your brain. The knowledge seems to leap unprompted from somewhere mm. deep within your mind. Make a proficient intelligence check with advantage. <laughs> okay, so uh, press proficiency after? Mm -hmm. Okay, advantage. Uh, 11 plus the 2, so 13. Okay. Well, that means it's going to take somebody, they have to beat a 13 if they, if they are actually looking at your record, so, you know... <laughs> We take yeah, those. those caretakers are all pretty low level. It's mm -hmm. fine. I'm well, sure they wouldn't, well yeah, they wouldn't do anything besides. they wouldn't do anything besides just you know leisurely glance through. Like, oh, that's a name that exists. Okay, mm -hmm. carry on. Exactly. Fine. I'm sure. I'm sure there won't be any long term consequences for this. <laughs> Was there anything else yeah. that Renan wanted to do? Uh, nope, not really. After that, uh, Renan will be doing all this again while invisible. Because invisible mm -hmm. before went into the room. Um, yeah, put all the records back. Everything back where it came from. Exit. I walk around a little longer and then return to uh, Athelor's room that Brandon oh, doesn't no. necessarily. Oh, oh. 
Is everything oh, I, I, I can hear him. What for a second Sorry. I thought my audio interface is just like. Oh, no. Wait, <laughs> So, Renin really did go invisible. Welcome to oh. Arf Academy Pure Roleplay Edition. That's odd. I still have him. Oh, okay. Oh. He's, he's back for me now as well. Welcome mm -hmm. back. Yeah, I don't... I also now have him again. That was... I don't think stream noticed a thing. Um, odd. <laughs> oh, no. Now I don't have him. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, now, now he's fully gone. Once yeah, again, da, 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 really da, da, burning da, da. through these spell slots on invisible. I know, here. right? Hello, hello, you're back. Hey, you're back. Welcome back. Okay, Can I get a scuffed weird. in the chat, please? <laughs> weird, but uh, yeah, we walk around and return back to uh, mm. Athlor's room that he's not quite comfortable with calling his own quite yet, but uh, yeah, it's Athlor's room. The room he will be occupying for the foreseeable future. Yeah. All right, then. <laughs> Thanks to the power of Ariana's Sheer desire for all the damage of the nightmare to be undone. Nobody in the academy is plagued by dreams that stem from anywhere except within their own minds. You bring no, no torment assails you except what you bring with you. Does anybody... <laughs> it's a wish, not therapy. <laughs> well, it took a ninth level spell to heal my trauma. Uh, so... <laughs> Is there anything we need to cover for the night? Or are we ready to move into the next day? All right. I'm good. The sun rises once more. And though the sphere is dimmer, the sun is brighter. For years, the outside world has been kept at bay by the power of Ioth's spells, by the power of the golden barrier that encircles this academy, isolating it from the terrors and burdens, and even the weather and temperature of the outside world. But today, it's a little hotter. It's a little brighter. The sphere is thinner. The cracks are visible now. Sealed, but visible. A scar upon the pale golden orb that protects you all. And everybody has something to say. Every student has an opinion about this. There is, as if it hasn't been one thing after another. It's gone from just students, you know, gossiping about what's happened to a very strange and silent air floating over the castle. This time, people in Tarselmore, they're not, you know, excitedly gossiping at breakfast. They're muttering, they're mumbling, they're whispering to each other. There's a sense of anticipation. Word has not yet passed about what transpired within Ioth's office, but everybody had the nightmares who slept. Everybody knows somebody who woke screaming in the night. There's a sense that something hangs over the entire school, and the sun is brighter, and it is not comforting. How do we find our heroes at their breakfast? You need not, we need not uh, do every single scene individually, by the way. You just let me know when you want to go to montage time. But you have several days left of uh, Trauma Week, and I want to make sure that you have the option to use them all. Where do we find our heroes at breakfast? Athol certainly feeling pretty guilty about all the people who had some uh, mind-breaking nightmares. Sorry, lads. I'm not going to tell you that one's on me, but I know it is. <laughs> At least we fixed it, like, kind of. Yeah, all it took was the death of possibly the most powerful mage in the entire universe. And honestly, betray. Well, I don't think he died. He didn't die, right? Oh, can't say if I know what Alex did to that book. Or what happened to Alex? True. You know, is it is it weird that I thought that after we woke up this morning, he might just appear? Like at breakfast? With us? Uh, like it was all a bad dream or something? And just everything would just be normal? Yeah. Yeah. Gotta admit, I was a little bit weirded out when I looked over at his bed and saw Renan. No, no uh, offense, Renan, it's just... Sorry, to should I it. apologize? I think I should apologize for that. It's... sorry. You're doing great. Really? You think so? Do you mean it? Uh, I'm not sure what you're doing great at, but yes. He's not doing anything. But what are we doing about Excellent. the Codex? 
because uh, Alex is gone. Yeah. Hmm. I feel like that's a Cryus question. I feel like we have a lot of questions for Cryus. Who is sitting several tables over and not making eye contact with any of you. <laughs> well, the and... scholars, right, should be the next in line. And I don't know. None of us are scholars, so are we really trusting the Codex with Cryus? I mean, he seems really regretful about what he did, but I'm not a fan of him keeping secrets. And the question is, do you want to pivot it away from the old headmaster, maybe towards helping out Master L now? Well, I hope we still get our tutoring. Is she going to be too busy for me? <gasps> maybe I'll get to study in Ios... I mean, Elnau's office. <laughs> I have to ask her. <laughs> oh, it's such yeah. a long walk upstairs. There's so many stairs. I'm sure she can help with that if that's going to happen. It's probably going to happen. She'll help you with that. Yeah. Oh, she can fly me with the wings. Maybe yeah, transport when... you, like teleport you. I well, when communing with the energies of mass destruction and avoid, yeah, I also think that, oh man, my cardio is going to be suffering from this. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm. Ooh, I'm wait. sure she'll still have time for you. So should we that just cancel the cool. final? Or do you think Alex would have wanted the tournament to fit? Not that it matters, but... It it's you matters. versus Ruby, right? Yeah. Yes. Do you want to do it? I feel like Alex would want it to go on, but I'm not here. I mean, he's not here to ask. Yeah, so our first concern should probably be whether you want to go there and do it. Sh sure. Uh, I should ask, we should ask Cryus and the scholars and maybe just talk about that the codex situation first. Yeah, okay, uh, Renan, for context, the Codex was um, like a academic club, like a study club that our friend uh, Alex put together um, alongside Cryus, who you saw crying yesterday, mm -hmm. and Henan, the large orky guy okay. with the slippers. Yeah. And uh, we're all a part of it, so mm -hmm. we'll probably drag you in there too, sorry. Fun, um, nice to be a part of something. First club, though. Yeah, and we were crazy. halfway through a tournament, like a dueling tournament, when mm -hmm. uh, I think the phrase about refugee camp is shit hit the fan. Yeah, yes. it seems like it. So things, there was a time here when things were normal, right? That's that's a thing that happened? Vaguely. Mm. Um, define it... normal. <laughs> um, well, you know, that's a good question. I don't really know what normal is, really, so... He did come out yeah, of a book. Just... Yeah. Yep. So I don't know if anything about this is normal. No, but um, Garnet, you were in the you had the last match. You're like really good then, right? Yeah. Um, like good. But as um the honorary academic of the Codex, I can make recommendations to the Codex. Mm -hmm. Um, but we'll have to see your grades, and that means you will have to. We probably have to do some classes so we can assess yeah. you. Mm -hmm. um, that makes sense. What? Well, hold on. Back, backstory, backstory for why <laughs> Renan is even here. Would he not already have grades? Yeah, that would or make did he sense, like, wouldn't it? Come in, and we just said hi. Do people just come into this academy, like, not as, like, little ones? Not at your age, I don't think. No. Transfers are extremely rare. Uh, very, very rare. Because there's very few other places to learn magic at the same academic level. Most people who learn magic to this extent out in the world do so by battling against the demonic imperiums. On, and so it's kind of hard to integrate them directly into a school like this. The closest thing that you would possibly get is somebody who was studying amongst the dragon tribes of Ocarthal, and they would have learned in an extremely different environment. So transfers are quite rare. Not unheard of, but quite rare. 
looks at Athlor and Renan. What? Cousins? You brought your cousin here. Would, would there have been any, uh, like, magical learning in Andaru that could have been? Yes, actually. One of the exceptions would be the various refuges, which would conduct their own magical training. Cousin. Oh. Cousins! Mm -hmm. You guys are likely onto something there. Like, they'll take my word for it, surely. Like, we're vaguely important in Underwood. And, so, and okay. uh, I was from an elven refuge also. Yeah, you're definitely an elf. Okay, uh, I, uh, Renan, I if anyone asks, your family name is Un Underwood, which means of Underwood. It's, uh, it's kind of half title, half family name. An underwood. Am I saying it right? Uh, yes. A N and then underwood. underwood. And camera okay. breaking. <laughs> <laughs> and then so I just I I stayed there for a little bit to to study. Maybe I wasn't quite ready for here. I don't know. But then they decided I was ready and sent me along. And you are here to guide me through things. Does that sound good? Sure. Yeah. It's as good as we're gonna get. Perfect. Better than saying it came out of a book. Yeah. yeah, I feel like literally anything is better. That's what you all kind of make me believe. That's, you know, that's the yeah, worst we, we thing. Don't, we don't mean to origin shame you, but it really is kind of unbelievable. No, I get it. I, it's not, it's, it's weird. I know. It's so, okay. At least we can say, we're, at least we can say your book's smart and then I'll be a little inside joke between us. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. That's true. I like that. So should he just take all of Alex's classes then? Just kind of, you know, that'd be easier oh than repicking all classes, and then you have to explain to the teachers why you're there without, you know, yeah, going I mean, through the admissions. Yeah, I joined your underworld class, right? So probably best if hmm. Brennan was with us. Yeah. Or do you think we it... should talk to Untamaler about it? Because he recruited most of us. If if you want to go talk to Untamaler about, no, well, I don't. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and Unter Muller will probably know from Master L now that Renin did come out of a book. I don't know she would have yeah. said anything about that, actually. Yeah, maybe I should, like, talk to the, the people who run... I mean, they'd, like, know what happened to me, right? The El now person and the Sage person. Maybe they could just, I don't know, pull some strings and get me into I mean I mean the Alex class idea is fine it just it feels a little weird it's almost like I'm replacing Alex and that's just that's I don't one. I don't really want to replace this person they seem I mean you all have your history I it's just I I don't know maybe we should go talk to master L now yeah that sounds yeah. good yeah, yeah. okay where would she be? <laughs> well, uh. that's a very good question because last <laughs> night, Master Elnow witnessed the passing of into what fate remains unknown for how long remains unknown of the headmaster. And she was charged with the protection of the academy. So she is probably having a long series of meetings with the entire rest of the faculty to explain what's going on because there were very few witnesses and to deal with the latest in a series of crises all day long up in the highest room of the spire in the meeting chamber that you've spied on before the council of the highest ranking professors administrators and mages of ioth academy are gathered to discuss what is going on uh, the occasional firebolt gets hurled against the wall in frustration but all this is happening far, far out of reach of the students themselves. Well, I can probably send Una to deliver a message until she's ready, you know, book an appointment. Yeah, okay, there's, still, there's still a few days in like the off time here, right? So it doesn't have to be like right now. Yeah, like three. When do I mean, classes like, start again? That's good enough. Oh my three God, more days. What day is it? What day is it? I forgot. <laughs> yeah, everybody has. Uh, three more days, but it's possible that they'll issue an extension. It, all, well, they were planning on issuing an extension, except for the fact that everyone has recovered remarkably swift from the horrifying nightmares of a gigantic mosquito entity from space, uh, thanks to a mysterious application of dawn magic. So, okay. probably no extension? 
<laughs> I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> it wasn't me. Okay, so Garnet, you sent Una to see what you can oh, now. Sorry, Master Elnow, Headmistress Elnow, I don't know. Miss Elnow is doing, and also how much she's told the rest of the faculty about Renin. To what degree we need to lie to everyone. Um, I have to catch up on the Underworld Studies class because I need to transfer there from the cancelled Buntimola class so I can take Renin and do that, and then Renin should be vaguely caught up on Alex's stuff at the same time. Okay. Sounds good to me. Just library time. Where to go, who to follow, and I'll do it. All right. Students are slowly getting up from breakfast, cleaning up their plates, taking them away, still gathered together with their various groups of friends. Everyone's kind of expecting an announcement to get made at some point because what the heck happened? Uh, but it has not occurred yet. So you have the day to yourselves. You have several days to yourselves to decide what you'd like to do. Okay. Uh, Alphaloy is going to try and keep Renin close to the library. Just so that if Renin is discovered, Alphaloy could be like, Oh, hey, with me? <laughs> pretty elf boy with pretty elf boy. Yes, that would mm -hmm. be. Ah, oh, that checks out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. yes. Yes. Cousins. Mm -hmm. Cousins, yes. Reading about the underworld. Mm -hmm. Just normal stuff. Mm -hmm. Didn't come from a book. <laughs> what are books? <laughs> Never seen one. <laughs> just, just rolling into a library. Like, does this feel like a maternity ward to you? <laughs> oh my! <God. laughs> give him disadvantage. <laughs> I cash it. <laughs> it is a sovereign rule of this channel that if you are on the show, you cannot use channel point rewards on yourself. <laughs> oh, I can cast silvery barbs on him. I'll you just you could do that, <laughs> yes. You're all out to grief. That's completely like... different. Oh, boy. <laughs> yes, we are studying underworld studies before my terrible jokes. <laughs> all right, Ned walks by as you're just like randomly saying, he's not from a book. Ned looks at the two of you. Ned keeps walking. Hi, Ned. Nice hat. <laughs> Waves over, uh, doesn't say anything, but clearly Cryus has been distraught. The last time he, he, anyone saw Cry well, the last time that he saw Cryus in some situation that might have caused trauma was when he was getting wrist dragged out, but he felt very calm the entire time, so, you know. All right, so, refresh me. What's everyone doing on this break? Is everyone united, or are we splitting up the party? Mm. You've got some time. We're waiting for uh, Una to deliver the message to Elna, right? To figure out what we can do with Renin and who knows what. Yeah, probably just going to send like a generic like, hey, can we meet? Are we still meeting at midnight for our sessions? Question mark. XOXO. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you you up? Question mark. You up? What are you doing? <laughs> uh, uh, not tonight. Lots going on. Huge mess. Tomorrow night. Renan fa is fine for now. We will talk. Let's give that to the party. Well, what am I going to do now? I don't know. Read? What do oh, yeah. normal kids do? <laughs> well, we should talk to Chris about the Codex just to get an understanding of if they're going to run it and what our involvement is. True, true. Uh, oh, Renan, you want to see something cool? Yeah. Uh, Athel love... walks over to one of her library uh, shelves, pulls back a book, and then pulls out the Wand of Webs. This thing is cursed mm -hmm. as shit. Ooh. <laughs> what kind of curse? Um, not entirely sure, but it did make oh. a Marid throw himself out a window for about a kilometer. Could it do the same thing to you? Well... Who knows? <laughs> Am I feeling the compulsion to throw myself out a window? You are not. <laughs> not currently. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, Roll to throw I think yourself. I'm out good with it. And it also casts webs. It's like a spider's anus. Oh, <coughs> that's where it comes out of. 
You know, I feel like, even though I know literally nothing, that's not really how it goes. I'm not studying biology, Renan. Me neither. I, I could be wrong. It's just, you really love to live life like kind of like just wild on the edge, right? Picking up cursed things. Just, oh, it's not going to, you know, kill. I respect that. That's very fun. I like, can I touch it? Can I yeah, sure. <laughs> Hands out the uh, Grey Jester's web ones. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you have... See if he feels anything like. Well, you haven't attuned to it. It takes a whole short rest to attune to it under normal circumstances. I see. Uh, hmm. Um. I thought, do you mind if I just hang on to it for a little bit, just to just to see, you know, for fun, what happens? Yeah, sure. Uh, stay away from windows. Okay, away from windows. I'll be in the center most of the room, and if I start walking <laughs> towards the window, tackle me. Out. Go. Okay. What? Uh, oh. I did that once. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> wrong message. Gotcha. I will tell Dave Fenestra. Oh, uh, yeah. She, uh, she uh, completely murdered someone by <laughs> throwing them out the same window that that genie threw. Yay! It was so smart. I dashed, and then I did a whoa, and then he was like, no! And then he fell out the window. It's a good Great. murder, got it? And then we almost all died, but, you know, that's just a side... That's... <laughs> You all murder people around here? Not so, mostly unnecessarily. We didn't start it. Oh, was it like part of like a, a class <laughs> kind of like exercise or something? You could say bonding that. exercise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did a bonding exercise. You know, a lot of us end up going out of that window. That's like a bonding place. Mm hmm. No. no. I, went out, I went out quite traumatically. Are we in a library full of people? I also are, I don't know, are you? You can you've got some <laughs> you fluid time here to set some scenes. So <laughs> I'll probably be like, Renan, you wanna see something funny? You got you gotta get with the yes. student program. Okay. Literally show me anything. I'm okay. I just oh, wanna no. see everything. Sees like a group of students studying quietly within 30 feet specifically and uses a minor illusion to make one of them look like they're farted. They just ripped one in front of the whole group. <laughs> <laughs> I read it with oh. that one. <laughs> oh, random student oh, group that's... illusory flatulence noted for future reference. <laughs> what's, what's their reaction to it? Yeah. Oh, ro ro roll a charisma saving throw for the entire crowd, please. No, <laughs> roll for shame. Um, I think the reaction is, is somebody immediately prestidigitates like a small wind and some poopery smells, you know, to just. <laughs> 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 exactly. That's the thing about magic, you know, when, when modern problems require arcane solutions. <laughs> True. See, he pranks. Uh, that's, a good, that's a good one, Garnet. I like that. You should meet our, our gobbles. One day. Oh, uh, the boggles. Boggles? Oh, boggles. Shit, my, Sorry. Shit, my boggles. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can get me the boggles. I've got to go get the knife because uh, odds are we won't get through the masonry. Uh, <laughs> Such a yeah. weird sentence out of context. I have to get knife, none of that. Boggles. But sure. Athlon <laughs> just dashes out of the room, <laughs> going go to the dorms to uh, to grab the knife. Okay. Well, business first, <laughs> right? We, we were supposed to talk to Christ. Yeah, bring Christ with us. Are, you, are okay. you going to have a Codex business meeting in the maze of illusions with the Boggles? No, I know. Sure. <laughs> okay. We have more shit on him than he does on us, you know? Okay. All right. <laughs> if, if you fuck with us, we will leave you in here. <laughs> All right. Our heroes retrieve Cryus from where he is holed up in his room. He's been doing very little socializing, even with his closest friends. Uh, and a lot more reading, studying, and moping of late. But when Garnet kicks open the door and stands, you know. <laughs> okay, I didn't say that. I didn't say Wake that. up, bitch. We're going boggling. Wake up, honey. It's time for your boggle meeting. Okay. Okay. Yes, honey. <laughs> yes, honey. <laughs> All right. Down the steps they go into the dungeons of Tarselmoor Hall to the illusions classroom and to the maze of illusions where six and seventh year students practice both weaving and seeing through all kinds of mind altering spells and no, not the fun ones. Uh, but rather than navigate through this twisted maze of lies and deception, 
Our hero, Athelore, takes the knife emblazoned with the Archmage Ioth's runes and cuts through the spell matrices, leaving gashes in the shimmering, translucent walls, revealing a true path. And lurking in here, you're able to follow the sticky trail to your two boggles. Did we name um, them? Second. Did they have names? Of their fae, they have names, and no, they have not oh. told you what those oh, yes. natural 24 on a charisma check. Okay, understandable. Have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just seeing to see if uh, Athelor can remember what he was do what he was doing to, like, order the boggles around before. Mm. Well, <laughs> uh, yes, you do. Yes, Athelor does. Do I remember? And does Leg Day remember? That's a completely different question. No. I think I've rolled a natural 20 on an intimidation check before with, like, an altered voice. All right, all right. <sighs> Yes, you did. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Somebody Carry was paying attention. <laughs> How are right. what are the boggles doing when we get there? Uh, the boggles are sliding down th through the maze. They've created like a water slide using their grease, and they're just bouncing off the walls, seeing if they can hit targets on the other side. <laughs> they are amusing. Well, what are their uh, names, Athelore? That's a good question. Boggles, <laughs> what are your names? We cannot give you our names. You are... You appear to believe it's a negotiation. Please, our names are all we have. Uh, okay, how, how about, how about Slip? And slide. Yeah. I'll that take it. Slip and Sounds like dumb and dumber slide. to me. But Brennan, here are our little <laughs> pets. They're cute. They're greasy. Little don't you shriveled with extra layers of wrinkly skin, constantly secreting sweat that altercates between being slick and sticky. How did you get these as pets? Ooh. Uh, long story short, they were in the cafeteria, the dining hall, and uh, we saw them go down some stairs. So mm -hmm. I took a lunch tray, and slid after them, <laughs> because mm -hmm. you otherwise couldn't walk on the floor because <laughs> of whatever they... And anyway, anyway, we followed them down here, we came into the maze, and then... Yeah... They're ours now. And then, yeah, you um, compelled them to uh, just be your pets, I guess, from there. Sure. Sounds this this yeah. is a public service announcement. We are now doing a voice for them. Is it Boggle Day yet? <laughs> <laughs> When's Boggle Day? You said it was going to be Boggle Day. Boggle Day will be soon. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Maybe, maybe give people a little bit of time to... Uh, Actually, <laughs> either the most brilliant thing that I've ever thought of or oh. the most unbrilliant. <laughs> I feel like everybody could use a little fun. I like yeah. fun. Turns to the boggles. A slip and slide. How does some fun sound to you this will this will continue until they're interrupted i think looking at the rest of the group it might be time for a boggle day it's been a little crazy these past few days and I feel like everyone could use a little bit of a pick me up. A little bit of slip and slide. Yeah. We're much better at that than picking up. Uh, kind of the opposite, actually. Picking up, not so great. Falling down, very good. Excellent expertise. Well, hey, let's actually do it. The dining hall's open mm -hmm. all day, every day for this week. We should. Go to the stairs at the middle of Tarselmore and have the boggles yeah. create the best slide ever. I love it. 
Should grab trays, right? Prepare? Oh, yeah. Okay. We're going to steal all the trays. All the uh, trays. <laughs> looking over at Cryos, what's it? <laughs> oh, we forgot we were, you were here. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, sorry. sorry. Oh, we had business to do. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh god ah, sorry. input Christ I kind of forgot you were there this isn't exactly honoring the traditions or, or academic standards or anything codex related I can't be a part of this what are you talking about but how is fun, fun not a part of have you met Ioth you've met Ioth have you met Ioth? Have you read anything about Ioth? He's, he is the supreme inventor of wizardry. His deeds are told across the four kingdoms, always looking towards the horizon, towards the sum total of the, the possibility, the Christ. promise of magic, uplifting the mortals from their depravity. What? Shut Boggle the fuck day. up. Oh, we'll go uh, down in history. <laughs> also that. Yeah, whatever Garnet said, that. <laughs> So we. Oh, I, I thought forgets about the voice of it, returns back to the demanding <laughs> voice to keep the bubble bogger respect. We need to consider the future of the Codex. Mm -hmm. The Alex Codex is event. missing. Exactly. The Codex is going oh, to. I don't think that an event like this really embodies the dignity that we strive for in the Codex. Okay, but. Well, I'm not saying that we take credit for it, as it's. Probably a safety hazard, and... Uh, we're studying the physical so. interactions between the real world and the grease produced by a magical entity, and there and the is a lot to be... Exactly. This is a fey excursion. Hmm. <laughs> we're turning uh, into a recreational company. <laughs> I mean, yes. I, 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 can, I can see some merit that, but don't, don't you think that a more controlled environment, a secured lab... Uh, with with volunteers, so we can monitor everything instead well, of open. So here's the best part, right? Tarso Moore is its own enclosed environment. Mm -hmm. So there's your laboratory, mm -hmm. and all of the students are willingly participating in this. There's your test subjects. Roll persuasion, both of you, please. <laughs> Roll persuasion with puberty advantage. I no. just, I think that. I mean, with the with the sphere thinning, uh, everything's only going to get worse from here. I just mm. well, yes, let's just accelerate to the worst case scenario. Why give anyone a chance to have some fun? We, I, uh, he makes a great point. I mean, at the very least, we should alert the codex so that we can treat this as a proper analytical study, right? Oh, that mm. brings us, you know, the whole reason why we brought mm -hmm. you here. How are we going to manage the Codex uh, temporarily until Alex returns? Hmm. Uh, Cryus look pulls into his pouch, his like messenger bag that he carries with him everywhere, uh, and has a complete copy of the Codex bylaws, which he carries with him <laughs> at all times. Of course. Which I don't know, Crowen, if it has any contingencies about a vacancy amongst the three scholars, does it? It definitely did not. No. Okay. <laughs> no vice president? Oh. It, 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 like, it subtly implied that there would be opportunities for if people were like super exemplary over a period of time for them to be mm -hmm. promoted to scholars, but it didn't really have anything in there about if someone... Uh, resigns or steps down or there's a vacancy it didn't really have anything like that in there you know there really is a lot to be asked for as a governing body in these documents and if we're going to use this as an opportunity to carry this tradition on into the future and to possibly take a larger role in the scope of things we're going to need to shore some of this up and with alexander gone for now, until we find him. Well, as best I can see it, in the absence of one scholar, there are still two scholars. The only problem is that we lack a tiebreaker vote. I'm here. 
Yes, yes, you are. And as the next highest ranked officer of the Codex, in the event of an intractable disagreement between the remaining scholars, you would be entitled to cast a tiebreaker vote. Would you ever vote against me? Uh, well, um, I, uh... <laughs> Ariana uh, turns to Renan and, and, and just whispers to him, uh, watch this. He he's gotta answer real carefully. I see. This is this is, well, this is good. This is good. Yeah, this is good. I I think that you um have a unique insight into a lot of things, Garnet, and your perspective is extremely valuable. And even in the event that we disagreed, I'm sure that you'd have an excellent reason and we'd be able to have a discussion about it. Ooh, the non-answer. Mm. Mm, that's not good. Ooh. I see someone cast mage on. <laughs> see, I learned something called, uh, what was it called? A vote of no confidence. And I read that it's about when you aren't confident in the leadership and they're, <laughs> um, so don't vote against me. <laughs> He's looking through the Codex bylaws, which are very short, which is why he can carry them around. It's like a page or two for anything about a vote of no confidence. And you thought I was threatening slip and slide. Do not anger her. Because, you know, I didn't put people in mirrors. So. <laughs> wow. Oh, she went there. I would say there was a lot of confidence in my decision making, right? I've actually successfully method acted my way into turning the same color that he just did. It's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I can do it again. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Um, see, yeah, the he... secret's safe with me. Right? And, Roll an intimidation check with advantage, please, Garnet. <laughs> Is that her, her blackmail, her like ultimate move? Yeah, that... she's very good. Mm, yep. Mm. Especially against Cryus, wow. it's super effective. It yeah. sounds like it. He just turned like 50 shades of different colors there. That was crazy. <clears throat> cool party trick. Oh, um, I'll, uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll speak with, with Hennen. Um, that, of course, leaves the question of just our, I mean, we still have a functioning governing body. It would just be in the event of an intractable deadlock that that would come up. So uh, your input Ooh, is... Colors rise up! And start celebrating with the boggles. Well, as a new honorary member of the Scholars of the Codex, I it's... would like to make today Boggle Day. All in favor! There's daggers at cries. <laughs> Yay! Oh, okay, that's majority vote, right? That's how it works. Okay, what, what's the plan, Ariana? I mean, most of the codex isn't even here to participate. At in that, you vote. know, that. Mm, but majority doesn't matter. So two to one. Vote. Yeah. I don't know if we ever actually called a meeting, but um. There's no oh, rules about that. Uh, there really aren't. They're probably no. <laughs> there, pro there probably should be. Uh, scribble, 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 scribble. Um, look, uh, Boggle Day. This is this is all well and good, but we have a little bit of a crisis to deal with. My studies on the integrity of the sphere. Lots of new data. Everything. Did, I, did you tell him what happened to Ioff? I'm pretty sure you just dragged him around, told him about the mirror, and he found out by yeah, proxy well, that Sig is a flesh did, golem. But I don't think he knows what actually happened in that office. We did not tell them oh, about Ioff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Does anyone even know? Has there been whispers from anyone about that? Well, no, everybody that, knows. That's why we can try and get away with, like, oh, we're just helping out everyone who had traumatic dreams. We're not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's no dead. There's no dead eye off. No. We're, we're going we're gonna, to, like, flesh go all of him. Just, <laughs> <like his> <laughs> just weekend at Bernie's ass <laughs> the Greetings, entire time. students. <laughs> How do you do, <laughs> fellow <laughs> kids? <laughs> <laughs> But I've got I've got uh, information to study. Uh, we have to have a gathering at the Codex. We need to decide what our next. What about the tournament? 
I, I feel like in the wake of all of this, we need to return to normalcy. That was going to be our first breakout event. It was something that Alexander formed. The Clash of the Codex is something that he formulated himself. And until we're able to ascertain his current location, which I still don't know anything about, it, it seems like in order to maintain morale and the dignity of this organization that we ought to go through with the original. But you were one of the finalists, Garnet. What do you think? Uh, if we have time. If you, I, if we're looking to make things fun, uh, me and Rose beating the shit out of each other. That sounds pretty fun. It's Ruby, but that's okay. Ruby. Um, <laughs> oh, right. Whatever her name is. Yeah, I haven't met her yet. Oh, love it. Let's go. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long trauma week, okay? My brain is traumatized. You, you and me both. Oh, man. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, so what did happen last night? Do, do any of you know? Uh, no, we just received Renin from a transfer from under it. <laughs> Roll a deception check, please, Athalor. <laughs> Does this cancel out both uh, inspiration and a disadvantage? Well, it's unless you choose to cash in one of your inspirations, it's just at disadvantage. Well, let, let, let's go for disadvantage and see how the first roll goes. Ah, uh, playing the odds. I see how it is. All right, all right. <laughs> roll what, it. What was, this was this persuasion or performance? Oh, uh, this is deception, deception, my friend, with disadvantage. Um, survey says oh you know what oh. i'm gonna cash in one of the adventures for 20 on that one <laughs> all right all right we cash in the inspiration the chat has given you you take the dirty 20 on that result that's fine if a little bit unfortuitously timed given the current level of security or lack thereof here at the school but what about everything else the, the, have you heard from any of the teachers? They've all been in meetings. All I assume they're talking about whatever that intrusion was that happened. Oh, uh, what do you mean intrusion? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let you roll that one. I'm gonna. Um, um, um. <laughs> I slept fine. I don't know. <laughs> I, I didn't say that. <laughs> Are you gaslighting an entire school? <laughs> Girl passing uh, and gaslighting. Ariana, the entire student body was having fever dreams and nightmares. It was horrible well, I was last Faye night. Again, the Fay. Oh, Faye. well, I wasn't asleep. So slip and slide. Were you responsible? You didn't hear the that? screaming, the puking, the cries for people's mommies, amongst whom I was not included. The cry right. for people insight, check. insight check, yeah. <laughs> insight check. <laughs> Can we get it? <laughs> Collective insight. Oh, we <laughs> <know>. <laughs> she said mommy, but not about his mm. <laughs> Oh my god. Dude, that's funny. Funny. Wow. <laughs> Read like a book. Read like a book. Christ couldn't possibly be talking about his mother because his mother's dead. <gasps> oh, insight law. Yeah. No one even has to pay for law. Yeah, make fun of the kid, why don't you? See how that goes for you. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Anyway. He's a little orphan we... child of the refugee camp who you just choose to girl keep gate like gas boss the entire time. Man, he traps other orphans in mirrors. Go fuck himself. Okay, fair, wow. fair, yeah, understandable. Yeah. Have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, the, the little bitches of Margo in disguise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the the tournament and the the uh, I assume the sage is dealing with it. I assume that's something the sage dealt with it. But this is another security crisis, and something happened to the sphere. And I need to get to the bottom of this. So, do you oh. like? He looks over at Slip and Slide. Do you need me for this? Well. Mm, technically, no. Garner secured the third vote, so I suppose that we can deal with slip and slide while you do things. Whatever oh, you're doing. Uh, set a date for the Codex Tournament Final. You know, get that all situated, get the marketing, advertisement, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, uh, three days from now, uh, not the day that classes resume, the day two days before classes resume, if everything's going according to plan. What am I forgetting? What am I forgetting? <laughs> oh, of course. 
Hunting horns, strength to the predators, woe to the prey. Poor, poor Cryus. He is the prey right now. He is absolutely getting farmed. We're going to leave these hunting horns hanging over his head, but at the moment, he is absolutely the rabbit on the run. Uh, as the, the sheer strength of the wild hunt infuses in those who place themselves in a position of strength. Thank you, and Mama Shimada. aside from that, you have to go and find the rest of that mirror. Remember. Uh, right. I um, don't have a normal means to enter and exit the sphere. I imagine it's a little bit easier now. It's weak at the moment. As right, I right, but... Fantisco. They know how to go in and out. <laughs> what? Hmm. I mean, <laughs> they probably know about it. Santisco's <laughs> here? I thought she went missing. Uh, yeah, where is she? <laughs> Roll a deception check, please, Garnet. I actually forgot about that whole piece of <laughs> Look, it's been a long uh, week, I, right? I, I thought it looks over to Renan like, I'll explain later. No. Re Renan right now actually has like a very like distant, kind of confused look in his face. And it's like mouth. Yeah, me too. <laughs> looks like really distracted by it. <sighs> Uh, poor, poor Cryus and his not good insight. Eleven. You wouldn't question me, right? You don't question uh, fellow scholars. We're scholarly. Um. Well, We're I mean, scholarly. I, I mean, it's not a, it's not official at this time. You, but uh, Sventisco has a way in and out. That sounds like a pretty serious security risk. I mean, I feel like you would also because you're Cryus and you're smart. Right, but so... I would I would not apply my intellect towards untoward means. I have everything I want here in the yeah, academy. Like, for example, uh, trapping someone within a mirror, you'd never apply it. Was it was an accident. Would you? Mm. It was a... It was... <laughs> <laughs> but it can't be worse than that. Going Everyone has their secrets, Cryus. Here, for yeah. an academic reason, right, Cryus? Besides, if we can undo it, you would have an unparalleled understanding of some of Arth's magic. Exactly. Which is tantamount of importance to the Codex, no? And you'd make a new friend. <laughs> or an old enemy. Uh, friends. Mm. Friends. <laughs> okay, okay. Organize the finals between Rupee and Garnet. Maintain the cohesion, honor, traditions, and morale of the Codex. Don't have my name associated with Boggle Day. Find the pieces of the mirror. Understand the potential existential threat that encompasses the weakening of the, of the Academy's sphere border. Am I forgetting anything? Hmm. Pretty sure you can cross that, that last one off your list. But the, the integrity of the sphere? That seems pretty important. Oh. Mm, finals <laughs> first. You know, we got to fulfill Alex's last, uh, his wishes uh, until we go into future matters. We have, to crawl, we have to cross our T's and dot the I's, you know. Yeah, there's just that there's an order of importance here, right? Yeah. Right? I feel like existential threats usually rank first in the order of importance. No. No, no, no. no. Let the let the, let the teachers. professors yeah talk yeah. about it. Untamaler is on the case. I'm sure. Now the last time that we discussed there. this, when we you said it was very important for me to be investigating this on my own because the teachers weren't telling everything, and now you're telling me that it, it, it's okay to leave it to them. No, just the yeah. uh, the preliminary search. Yeah. What well, don't you want them to kind of get like a head start to give you like a so you're not on a wild goose chase, you know? We'll do the hard they give, work. Yeah, they can, they can do the hard stuff. and then, Right. Because the they, last that, that thing the part where they I'd want stuck. to be on would be a wild goose chase. Yeah. <laughs> you are smart. You are scholarly. <laughs> You're so scholarly, Christ. So, fine. <laughs> so scholarly. Okay. I'll go do that. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a bit of a question. Um... This Ventisco person, who is she? We'll tell you later, Renan. Okay. Um, she's, she's a friend. A she's a friend. Yeah. Slip, slide. Are you prepared to mm. fun? 
they i really should have recorded a loop of this because this entire time the background radiation of this conversation has been <laughs> all right so uh garnet can you take ren in to the uh dinner hall grab a bunch of trays ariana and i will take slip and slide and see if we can set up some manner of fun contraption Okay. Mm, the fun contraption. <laughs> Why does that sound <laughs> ominous? Caius <laughs> <laughs> will... Uh, actually, Athor, if you wouldn't mind the, with the knife and the, the maze. Hey. He's out of here. He, he, he watches the stabbing, uh, the enthusiastic stabbing. <laughs> And heads off to go take care of a lot of things. First off, talking to the Codex about the tournament, making sure Ruby's still on board with it. A lot of damage control. And he'll go from there, leaving you once again with slip, slide, and away you go. Is that is it uh, Renan and Garnet going up to the, the dining hall? I, I think during that walk, actually, Renan would he'd still be on the Spintisco thing and would ask Garnet, uh, what potentially weird question? Um, was Ventisco and Alex friends? Um, <laughs> wait, how much do we know about their little relationship thing? I forgot. <laughs> we know that Ventisco fucking hated him. No, I, I like, I remember the hate part, but I don't remember the relationship part. If we knew hmm. about that. Maybe an Alex question probably, for Crow. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. Probably not much. I mean, Athlor would have the best insight to that, I guess, because the, the like prank thing. Yeah, but I think the freshest info we had was that Swintisco goes like, "You're not friends with Alex." Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Some don't involve that dickhead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In terms of Garnet's exposure. Yeah, they're um, uh, they were friends. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and we met them from the Grove, mm -hmm. and uh, know each other for a long time. And they're part of the Kiss John, who were this other big club at the school. Oh, um, okay. Hmm. Weird. Uh, okay, thanks. I had plans okay. for the next student event but it seems like the next student event for everyone who participates in the uh, ioth academy community role play is going to be boggle day so expect <laughs> boggle day rules soon in the discord <laughs> anything else from renin asking questions uh no just say to himself that's weird and just kind of like i'll just be really lost in thought obviously on the, on the walk with garnet have you ever seen a boggle in your book land <laughs> No, they actually strangely seem like kind of, I don't know, like familiar. I mean, I, I think I like know of them, fey creatures, but never seen one. Oh, glad we're uh, helping out with your school experience. Honestly, everything that happens is a new experience. So it's just, it's, I'm ready for it. It's anything and everything. Just show it to me. Just don't hold anything back. So hands them like 20 trays. Garnet five. <laughs> okay, maybe hold a few back. This is heavy. Just mm, you got couple, it. Please. No, you got it. <laughs> no, I'm not. I, Are you trying to turn a red into a simp as well? <laughs> I'm not very strong. <laughs> Can we get no. strength checks just for <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Trey strength saving throws. <laughs> A 13 <laughs> and an 11. That's enough to just like teeter all around. Because you're only rolling for five trays and you're rolling for 20. So that's enough to move at like <laughs> half speed so you're fine as you go up the stairs and you don't topple over. Very <laughs> slow. Shaky steps. Okay. You've really got to challenge you so you can impress the other members of the Codex. I thought it was about like book spots, not physical labor. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta train your mind and body, pal. All right, where who are we giving this to? Let's go see where it just is obviously walking oh, way faster know. with the like, anyone uh, random just look around if anyone's walking. Do you want a tray? Please, <laughs> please. <laughs> take one. <laughs> We're passing them out. Please. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
All right, so students are walking by as this, you know, this Alfar is just vanishing between a pile of trays begging people to take them. So a student here, a student there is just, okay, I guess. Do you want this to go back to the kitchen? What's... No, it's for something. Just keep it. You'll find out <laughs> it's soon. It's <for> something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's what the two of you are doing. What about Ariana and Athelor? What are the two of you doing? Okay, um, they appear to be in. Ariana, what staircase slash death trap do you want to use? Well, I was thinking the one that's right by the dorms. Let me fix the map for you and show our viewing audience so that you can make tactical boggle suggestions. Bada boom. Yeah. Okay, so I'm thinking we've got to go to one of the main staircases right by the dorms, right? Because then we get everybody to gather up all of their sheets and like pillows and things like just in case. Uh huh. So it's like a nice big pit at the end so no one like breaks anything hey like, wh what about i'm gesturing in character because i what about this one here and we could we could have a slightly longer slide <gasps> and then we can set up some pillows over here so people can just slide down the long staircase through the hallway and then sort of crash into pillows here yeah yeah wait i like that yes awesome about, okay. but we have to we have to put like a like a like a like a barrier so that you don't accidentally go off into the dorm area or we set up two. <laughs> okay two? so at the top Painted of the blinds? stairs up these stairs are the dueling chambers <laughs> yeah, that's fine okay, wait just th those, those are like magically insured right mm -hmm. one of a better word yeah yeah they 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 say 15 percent or more on dual insurance <laughs> okay, so we would have to block off this area that I'm yeah. thinking on the map. Uh huh. Put up like a maybe like a like a pillow barricade, so that people uh -huh. don't go flying off into the into the dorms. You don't want to hit the wall or anything, right? Yeah. But then we also set up another one by the dorms, right? Like the staircases over there. Also, so like a mini slide? it's like a mini one, but also how cool would it be if you went down that hallway, right? Like a big actual like slip and slide. It's so not just like slide down the stairs. You get the stairs to get the speed and then right across. <clears throat> yeah, that could that could probably work. And it would yeah. be close to the cafeteria as well. So we could restock the trays easily. Yeah. Welcome to the theme park world portion of Arth Academy. <laughs> Boggle Coaster Tycoon. Of, of the many things I expected this episode, that was not one of them. Uh -huh. Okay, cool. Uh, so, you take slip and slide mm -hmm. and generate the slip and slide. Yeah. I will gather some pillow minions. Yeah. Okay. Or just cool. uh, steal it's... people's bedding. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure they won't mind that. Rest it's it's it not like it's all piss soaked after last night's contiguous nightmare. No, nah, but why it's rest digitation. It's okay. Are we all together, by the way? Are we all reunited soon? Uh, I mean, we're, we're on the same floor as you guys now, so mm -hmm. you're, you're more than welcome to be part yeah. of this. In fact, I will try and take 10 trays off of. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, perfect okay. timing. As I, as I have a plus one in strength. All right, slightly <laughs> swole. Slightly swole. Slightly swole. Above average swole. <laughs> okay. Uh, how are we going to tell the students about what we're doing? Well, I yeah, feel like... like we just start and then make a lot of noise. Like we're having fun. That is actually how that works. Yeah, okay. I think it'll be fine. All right, yeah, who's going first? Me, me. Okay, I gotta it's go. your idea. Okay, that's fair. Out. Okay. All right, so our students spend a few minutes reading dorms for anything soft, pillows, bed cushions, entire mattresses, 
that end up being piled into the corridors and along the walls, the, the hard stone walls of Tarselmore Hall. And you know what the ancient fantasy world of Anakra does not have? Fire marshals who tell you no. So <laughs> <laughs> this is going down. Um, you, go, you set it up and slip and slide, j- kick each other down the stairs, secreting grease the entire way so they just get knocked over and... <laughs> leaving a trail of grease along the way and get skid all the way along the side down the hallway, leaving a trail for you. Ariana, you stand at the top of the slot of the stairs. The entire stairway from side to side is completely covered with dripping grease. It smells slightly of BO, not like super strong. It's just sort of the natural smell to it, you know? Uh, and you have a tray. What do you do? Before she flings herself down, Apple will put a hand on her shoulder, mm-hmm. don't die, and cast a mage armor. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine that instead of manifesting as this beautiful set of like just radiant like armor, yeah, it's just it's just you know pillow helmet, <laughs> human marshmallow. Just go. yes, magic marshmallow armor. All right, Ariana, you stand at the top of the stairs, the grease covered stairs, with a tray in hand, covered protected by magical marshmallow armor. What do you do? I'm about to sit on that tray and ride it all the way down the stairs. All right. Roll an acrobatics check, please. Why are you ready to just roll to have fun? To see how much fun you have. If you're not doing math, okay. do you even know if you're having fun? Trick question. The answer is no. You have inspiration. Do you <laughs> want to use it on this? Or do you want to use the adaptive die on it? Oh, I'll use adaptive, adaptive die to have die. fun. All right, how adaptive much fun die, are we having? as detailed by Grazalex's Guide to Ancestry, we'll be giving away a copy. We're, we're going to get like bonuses off an next short rest or something <laughs> off of like fun and refreshment. All that right, fourteen. At least more fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you slide down the stairs, which even covered with grease are still stairs. You manage to avoid that, and you get that nice, you know, just whoa. Bank off the side, around through the door, and eventually bounce into that central column and kind of slide around the side of it, right into the middle of the dining hall. <laughs> I would just probably, yeah, I was, so I would get up at this point and be like, Whew! Yeah, y'all should go try that. Grab your trays, follow me, let's go! <laughs> Grab your trays and join me. All right, a cavalcade... Yeah, of fifth through seventh year students all start making their way there. Now, here's my question. Um, Garnet, while I ask my own question on my own time, describe your approach and roll for fun, please. Oh, Renan, can you push yeah. me? Uh, yeah, yeah, I can, I can. You want like, right. a, like a big push or like a Yeah, small like push? just run, run at me. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to snap, dude. I get a disadvantage on acrobatics. Uh, that depends entirely on the result of this athletics roll that we're going to have. Uh, Renan roll. Yeah, Renan's going to take many steps back and fall on just like, honestly, actually, probably just like fall on like dive, tackle, push, guard <laughs> oh, it, and maybe fall himself. You who asked knows? the guy who came out of the book to work a slip and slide. <laughs> Yeah, new guy. We're uh, getting okay. a new guy involved. Athletic. <laughs> a two. two. <laughs> I should have given him a major. Oh, the gods <laughs> smile upon us on this day. Garnet, roll an acrobatics check with disadvantage, please. Yay! <laughs> Nine. Hey, that's pretty okay. good. Okay. You head down the stairs. Now, under normal circumstances, the width of this sled, the the lunch tray, would be sufficient to cover that gap. But not if you've got somebody who's barely clinging on to the back of it, (laughs) smacking his face along every single grease (laughs) face. Just like... (laughs) You slide down at a slow pace, dragging Renan as he just face plants every single way. Just... (laughs) Renan, roll 1d3 for me, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you take two points of damage okay. from eating it on the way down on the sled. And Garnet, you collide with the door frame on the side, even though there's some cushions set up there. So you don't manage to go all the way down the hallway. You collide with the doorstep. Roll a 
Dexterity saving throw, please. 14. Okay, you manage to retain control. Renan lets go and just ends up face like sli- yeah. sliding on his face into the pillow on the doorframe. You manage to hold on and you go spinning down the corridor, bouncing off the walls a little bit before plopping up against a wall. Renan just like face plants down. It takes me a second. Slowly just flops over into his back. Just arms splayed out. I think that was too fast of a push. <laughs> Ow. I'm just like off in the distance. Great put. Why did you come with me? I <laughs> great push. I was going too fast. I couldn't stop myself. Let's go again. Starts dragging his <laughs> arm. <laughs> <laughs> right up the stairs again. Fun, 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 fun. And we will leave our heroes to their frivolity as they actually do something to recover from trauma week now all completely covered with boggle grease when we come back from the break we will be giving away a copy of grazel x's guide to ancestry so don't go anywhere folks stick around in chat as long as you're active in chat over the next few minutes you will be eligible thank you everyone for joining us we will be back in a few <laughs> 